America, as much as we love what we are and who we are, and maybe we're anxious about where we are and where we're going, I can tell you this, as a, as a therapist, we lead the developed world in stress-related disorders. You probably know that intuitively. Well, there's data to back it up. More than any other country, more than countries that are even poor. 25% of us, 25% have a diagnosable stress-related disorder. 25% of us have something going on. So that's one out of four. So, you know, look around. If the three people sitting next to you look okay, you know, it's you. Know, it's you. Let me give you two facts about American popular culture that will put some flesh and bones onto this free-floating feeling of stress that I know is captivating your career and your life. We're worried about it terribly, about our inability to be calm and to be optimistic and to be forward-thinking. You have to try really hard. What's going on? Well, let me give you two facts that at first blush may seem to be disconnected from this, but believe me, are central to it. In the United States, now last year with the recession year, it dipped a bit. But in 2008, for example, uh, you know, we're famously now past 300 million people in the country, okay? Uh, 45 million of us moved. The year before that, 44 million moved. The year before that, 44. It's a very stable statistic. 15 to 18 percent of the United States population relocates. More than half of those relocate outside their geographic area. Between the ages of 20 and 40, the career and family building years, one out of three move every single year. Now, you may not have been a person who's relocated, but I know I'm looking into the faces of people as even if you were born and bred and still live in your gorgeous state, I know you have siblings, perhaps parents, children who have grown up and are now successfully off and running. At Purdue University where I work, and we uh, poll the large classes at that large university, raise your hand if you intend to return to your hometown after graduation, it averages about 5%. And of that 5%, it's really going back to a city that has some cachet for a young professional, as you would say in Salt Lake or other places. So you know what I'm talking about. I know you have children who, even if they're young, you know, it's possible that they'll remain in your geographic orbit. But the likelihood is that if you are a typical American, you will be relating to your children scattered all around the country. So we know that we're mobile. Okay. But when you get your head around a half century of mobility at that scale, it is staggering. Fact number two, and this is the most distressing statistic. The average American, it went from 24 to now 33 hours a week watching television. That's the average. Now, you may not be watching anywhere near 33 hours of television a week, but when you compute your television time, your computer screen time for work, for pleasure, for surfing, whatever. Your PDA time. You two are very likely looking at a screen for well over a day a week. When we speak to major corporations, most executives will confess <laughs> with some embarrassment that their eyes are glued to a screen for sometimes 40 to up to 60 hours a week. So we know also that we're media immersed. But I can tell you psychologically, those two facts from sociology our incredible rates of mobility, which means we up and leave significant relationships and familiarities in our town. And believe me, as a shrink, I'm not insensitive to this. Some of you may be thinking, yeah, I don't live anywhere near where I grew up in my parents. Thank God. But whether, whether you ran for your life out of a rotten family or were fired like a rocket out of a great family, the bottom line is we are dispersed. And when we land, what are we doing? We're giving hours and hours to detached mediated communication relationships. Those two facts are the defining dynamics of modern life in America. And when you see it through the lens of those two facts, it alters the way you can understand what's going on in the United States.